London Stansted Airport has a single runway, but both ends are used at different times. Aircraft can depart either southwesterly, known as runway 22, or northeasterly, runway 04. For safety reasons, aircraft must land and take off into the wind. Most of the time at Stansted, the wind comes from the southwest, meaning that the majority of aircraft depart to the southwest, around 70% on average, but this can vary considerably from month to month and year to year. All jet and most propeller aircraft departing from the airport use initial flight paths within a noise preferential route, NPR. These NPRs were set by the Department for Transport in 1989. These routes were designed so that aircraft avoid flying over the larger populated areas until they've reached a minimum height of 4,000 feet above sea level on four of these routes and 3,000 feet above sea level on the other two during the day. As aircraft cannot fly in the same way that a train runs on tracks, this means that there will be some variation as to where different aircraft will fly within the NPR. This is because all aircraft perform differently and may be affected by weather conditions which can cause them to drift to the left or right. It is for this reason that each NPR has a swathe measuring 1.5 kilometers either side of the route center line, resulting in a virtual corridor three kilometers wide. As long as the aircraft fly within this three kilometer corridor, they are considered to be on track. There are a few local procedures that aircraft must follow at Stansted such as avoiding flying over the centre of Bishop Stortford and avoiding Sawbridgeworth and Stansted Mount Fitchett when flying below a height of 2,500 feet above sea level. With airspace modernisation, we will continue to implement performance-based navigation which was applied to two of our existing routes a number of years ago. This means aircraft will fly more precise routes designed to a higher climb gradient. This could reduce the level of noise heard on the ground and lower emissions. We will also look at ways to provide respite or relief for communities. For example, this could include alternating routes or using different routes at different times. More information can be found on our website www.stanstedairport.com forward slash future airspace.